Hello everyone and welcome back to another house tour. So this is one that I did for a sort of save file thing, you know, where I, where we were challenged to like build a lot for like a certain type of save file in the world. So this one was for like magical mermaids and things like that. So this is for a mermaid sim as well as a spellcaster sim. So let's go through the house. So starting here, they have a little dog with a non-functioning boat, but I really like this boat opposed to the other ones that they have. Plus, it's the sim, you really don't need a boat. It'll just teleport off the lot. Um, here's a little area where they can suntan, as well as some shells lying around. There are a few shells lying around on this lot that you can collect or not, if you don't want to. A little clothesline that doesn't actually function but it looks nice and it actually looks like there are people living here. Then we go down here to their garden. Now, as you can see here, a bunch of mailboxes. I really wanted to use that debug item. And then we have a trash can as well as, you know, wheelbarrow full of fertilizer, a few gardening tools, another shell and a sand pile. And I have a garden with various sort of things, another shell. Then, you know, I really like the crystals again, that's the whole magical aspect of it. Then down here, we have this little area, which I really, really like. Oh, the columns reset. Hello. Oh, but the uh, this was actually lower done with tool. So they're not actually supposed to be this high, but they reset. But I mean, if you own tool, you can just lower them down. If you don't, they'll stick up like this, unfortunately. I'm just not in the mood to lower it down again. Um, so in here we have this little secluded area. There are lights everywhere and a little seating area around the, this barbecue pit thing. Some coconut drinks around here and then a bathtub because there's not actually a lot of space for the bathroom up there and I really don't want to compromise on certain room sizes. Sorry for that weird twitch. Um, so there's a bathtub down here. So this is where your sim will get ready and all of that jazz. And then, you know, I really love these little debug flowers that I twisted around the columns. They look really, really nice. Okay, so we go up the stairs and onto the, oh, onto the porch. So here is the porch there's just a little painting easel because i mean why wouldn't you want to paint that and then a cauldron for the spellcasters and as well as some herbs hid tucked around the cordon corner and then we come in here curtains you know to give some privacy then we have here in this area have the jukebox some lights a few paintings on the ground maybe some guitars and things that they found i don't know TV and everything. And I wish I had eco lifestyle before this, but I could use the other TV. But here we have this little nook, and nook here with a bookshelf and all that, and the broom and mop, dining table, kitchen. You know, it's, it's really nice. Little cluttered here, but there's still enough space for you to cook the fridge. I scaled it down and then put stuff on top of it. it really looks nice. And then in here is. The mermaid's room. Very, very cluttered, maybe like treasures that she found or here she found, I don't know. You know, just on the shelf here, very little mermaid-esque inspired, you know, no computers, obviously. You know, like, so I really like this. I did not know that this existed until I did this build and I was just like, wow, this looks nice. Clothes rack, then we go through here. Like I said, the bathroom doesn't have a lot of space, so that's it. Then in here is the spellcaster's room, yay! Again, very cluttered, but this time with books and potions and all that stuff. And then a little dresser rooms, and I really like the views as well as what they did with these using tool. So it creates it like this is a window and not a door. Even though it's a door, and right here in the mermaid's room, I did the same thing. Let's see, it's really nice. I hate the fact that the gallery 
has the screenshot of the main house in a weird angle of it, the spellcaster sitting as a computer, but hey, I don't know. They grew up in the in the human world, so they know how to use technology. Oh yeah, so that was a lot much shorter than my previous house tour. But yeah, I really, really like this house. It's quirky and fun, you know. Okay, so that's about it. So I hope you guys enjoyed the house tour. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.